The next day the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt.
cried out again, <laughs> Crucify him. Pilate said to them, What? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them the rats. And having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. To the action movies, some video games, and many beloved comic books have a top. Well, there are the good guys and the bad guys. There are the villains and heroes. And there is generally a good dose of fighting, warfare, conflict, and bloodshed. And without passing judgment on their value, we know that games, books, and movies often model or reflect real life settings and situations. <coughs> you or I may wish to deny that these are really anything more than fiction, but we know better than that. Our world and culture are filled with violence. The Bible, too, is filled with action figures, conflict, warfare, and bloodshed. And the only good guy, the only hero in Holy Scripture, is our Lord God. And the human beings he created are often at odds with their creator. Sinful humans think they are deserving, think they are in charge, or know better, or think they can simply take the lead. But in our incompleteness, in our fallenness, we surmise that we can fool or manipulate God. And as we honestly reflect, however, we know and confess that we act foolishly. Is this something new? Well, absolutely not. If we look at the Old Testament record, look at the New Testament <laughs> accounts, and, and you become convinced that we live only by the merciful and long-suffering patience of our loving God. We deserve nothing good, we do nothing good on our own, and we can claim nothing for our future based on our own lives or efforts. So with people hundreds of years before Christ and with those lining the streets of Jerusalem on that Palm Sunday, we are drawn to recognize and revere the one who came in the name of the Lord, who came with the sword of victory. Jesus wielded the sword of a righteous ruler. As we view our Lord's entry into Jerusalem, we are reminded of who he is. That as true God, Jesus is in charge. He knows all things. He can do all things. He cannot be defeated. And as true man, as we noted in our Philippians 2 reading, he humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross. This God-man dual nature is beyond our understanding or comprehension. However, it is vital for our forgiveness, life, and life.
Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.